Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Crochet Rainbows and Butterflies. In this video, we are going to learn how to make this cute jellyfish. I have named her Bobo. And for this tutorial, I have used crochet yarn. This is four ply yarn. I have used three millimeter crochet hook. You need different colored yarn for the tentacles as well as the eyes, the flower. You can use as many colors as you want. I have used yellow and blue here. You also need yarn needle and you will need your stitch counter to count your rows. Before we get started, I would like to remind you to subscribe to my channel to never miss a video on crochet tutorials. So let's get started. We begin with a magic circle. And in the magic circle, we need to work eight single crochets. Now, for those of you who cannot work a magic circle, you can start with chaining four and you work a slip stitch in the first chain and you work in that ring. And if you want to learn how to work the magic circle, I have posted a video on how you can learn to make the magic circle. So now we already have a magic circle here. You need to work eight single crochets in your magic circle. Two, three, four, five, I have worked eight single crochets in my magic circle. Now I'm going to pull this. And now you work a slip stitch in the first single crochet that we worked. So this is your slip stitch. Now you chain one. You need to work two single crochets in your first stitch. This is the first one. This is your second stitch. Two single crochets in your first stitch. Now you work two single crochets in your next stitch. One and two. Two single crochets in your next stitch. One and two. And in the same manner you need to work two single crochets in each stitch of your row till you reach the end of your row. So two single crochets in each stitch of your entire row. After you finish your row, you will have 16 stitches around. You need to work a slip stitch in your first single crochet that you started right here. chain one. Now you work one single crochet in your first stitch, the same stitch that you worked your slip stitch in and you work two single crochets in your next stitch. So this is one and this is two. Now in your next stitch you work one single crochet. In your next stitch you work two single crochets one and the second one in the same stitch again in your next stitch one single crochet in your next stitch two single crochets one and two now you need to repeat the pattern for the rest of your row in the next stitch one single crochet in the next stitch two single crochets, the next stitch one single crochet, in the next stitch two single crochets and you need to repeat the pattern for your entire row. After you complete your row, you need to end it with one single crochet in the first stitch that you started with, right here. You chain one. Now you work one single crochet in the same stitch. One single crochet 
in the next stitch and two single crochets in the third stitch that's one and this is the second one in the same stitch now again one single crochet in the first stitch one single crochet second stitch and two single crochets in your third stitch this is one the second single crochet in the same stitch again one single crochet in the first stitch one single crochet in your second stitch and two single crochets in your third stitch one and second one you need to continue this pattern for the rest of your row that is one single crochet in the first stitch one single crochet in the second stitch in the third one you work two single crochets you need to continue this pattern for the rest of your row after you finish your row again you need to join your row by making a slip stitch you chain one you work one single crochet in your first stitch one single crochet in the second stitch one single crochet in your third stitch and now in your fourth stitch you work two single crochets this is one and this is my second single crochet again you work one single crochet in your first stitch one single crochet in your second stitch one single crochet in the third stitch and in the fourth stitch you work two single crochets this is one and this is the second stitch so this is the pattern you need to follow for the rest of your row one single crochet in the first stitch one single crochet in the second stitch one single crochet in the third stitch and in the fourth stitch you work two single crochets you follow the pattern for the rest of your row you need to complete your row by working a slip stitch you chain one and now you work one single crochet in your first stitch one single crochet in the second stitch one single crochet in the third stitch one single crochet in the fourth stitch and now in your fifth stitch you work two single crochets this is one and this is a second single crochet now again one single crochet in the first stitch one single crochet in the second stitch one single crochet in the third stitch one single crochet in the fourth stitch and in the fifth stitch you work two single crochets this is one and this is the second single crochet now you need to repeat this pattern for the rest of your row that is one single crochet in the first stitch one single crochet in the second stitch one single crochet in the third stitch one single crochet in the fourth stitch and in your fifth stitch you work two single crochets you repeat this for the rest of your row you complete your row with a slip stitch and you chain one now you work one single crochet in your first stitch one single crochet in your second stitch one single crochet in the third stitch one single crochet in the fourth stitch one single crochet in your fifth stitch and in the sixth one you work two single crochets one and two again one single crochet in the first stitch one single crochet 
in the second stitch, one single crochet in the third stitch, one single crochet in the fourth stitch, one single crochet in the fifth stitch, and in the sixth one you work two single crochets one and two. You need to repeat this pattern for the rest of your row that is one single crochet in the first stitch, one single crochet in the second stitch, one single crochet in the third stitch, one single crochet in the fourth stitch, one single crochet in the fifth stitch and two single crochets in the sixth stitch. So you need to repeat the pattern for the rest of your row. After you finish your row you need to complete it with a slip stitch and uh, now what you need to do is you need to work one single crochet in each stitch of your row. So you need to work one single crochet in each stitch of your entire row and you need to keep working that for around 12 rows. So you will have something like this. This is the circle that we started with and then after that you work one single crochet in each row till you have 12 rows. So now this is the head of your jellyfish. You need to make one more of these for the bottom of it to cover it up but for the bottom of it we will add one more row here we have completed our one single crochet in each stitch till we get to the fifth one so for the bottom part of the jellyfish we need to make one more row of increase so you chain one after you finish your rows that we started with you work one single crochet in the first stitch one single crochet in the next stitch one single crochet in the third stitch one single crochet in the fourth stitch one single crochet in the fifth stitch and in the sixth one you work two single crochets one and two now again one single crochet in the first stitch one single crochet in the second stitch one single crochet in the third stitch one single crochet in the fourth stitch one single crochet in the fifth stitch and in the sixth one you work two single crochets you need to continue doing this for the rest of your row and you will have the bottom of your jellyfish. After you complete your row you need to work a slip stitch. You chain one and you can cut your yarn. Make sure to leave a long tail. You need to stitch this up later to the head of your jellyfish. Now we will work the edge of the jellyfish the head we want to give it some waves or shells that you can call it what you need to do is after your last row you chain one after your 12 rows you chain one now you need to skip two stitches one and two now directly in your third stitch you work one double crochet you work a second double crochet into the same stitch the third double crochet into the same stitch and the fourth one into the same stitch so we worked four double crochets in the same stitch now you skip two stitches one and two in the third one you work one single crochet now again 
you skip two stitches one two in the third one you work four double crochets this is the first one two three and four now again you skip two stitches one two and in the third one you work one single crochet again skip two stitches in the third one you work four double crochets one two three and four you skip two stitches one two in the third one you work one single crochet you need to continue this pattern for the rest of your row right up till here I have completed my row and I am left with around two stitches here you can go ahead and work slip stitches in each of them one and this is the second one You chain one and cut your work. So this is what you have at the edge of your jellyfish head. We are going to start working with the tentacles now. I have made some curly ones as well as the straight ones. I will show you how to work both of them. We will start with the straight one first now you need to leave around this much of your yarn in the beginning start with your knot here because we're going to tie this to the bottom of your jellyfish so you start with your knot and you need to chain 35 so you start chaining 35 chains that is the length that I have here if you want to make a longer one you can go ahead and chain more I am working with 35 chains for this tentacle after you finish your 35 chains you chain one and into the second chain from your hook first and the second one you work one single crochet now you work one single crochet in the next one one single crochet in the next one one single crochet in the next one and you need to continue working one single crochet in each chain of your row right up till your first chain that you started with so you work one single crochet in each stitch of your row after you complete your row you need to chain one and cut your yarn make sure you leave a little yarn to tie it up now we are going to work with the curly ones so again you need to leave your yarn here start your knot around here now for this tentacle you need to work 70 chain so you start with your first knot and you need to chain 70 2 3 4 and you continue working your chains till you get a number of 70 after you finish working your 70 chain you need to work one single crochet in the second chain from the hook so that's one and two one single crochet into that stitch now in the next stitch you work two single crochets one and two in the next stitch you work two single crochets one and two in the next stitch 
two single crochets one and two again two single crochets in the next stitch one and two two single crochets in the next stitch one and two you need to continue this pattern for the rest of your row and as you can see it has already started curling here so you need to just keep making two single crochets in each stitch of this row and it automatically starts curling itself after you finish your row you chain one and cut your yarn and this is what you will have now we'll go ahead and work the small flower that I've used on the jellyfish you can use a flower or a bow but I'll show you how to make the small flower you start with the magic circle and in the magic circle you need to work five single crochets this is your first one one two three four and five Okay, now you go ahead and work a slip stitch in the first chain that we started with. Chain 2. Now you need to work one single crochet in the same stitch that you worked your slip stitch. So one double crochet. You chain two, you work one double crochet. Now you work your second double crochet in the same stitch. And now you chain two. And you work one slip stitch in the same stitch. You have your first petal here. Now you work one slip stitch in the next stitch. You chain two. You work one double crochet in the same stitch. You work your second double crochet in the same stitch. Now you chain two, one, two, and you work one slip stitch in the same stitch. Now you need to continue doing this in the next three stitches that we have one, two, and three. So you will get a small five petal flower which you can attach on your jellyfish. After you finish working your last petal, you can chain one, cut your yarn and this is your flower. Now we need to go ahead and sew the eyes on the jellyfish if you have your um, the ones that you can fix like buttons you can use that. I like to stitch mine so I'm going to go ahead and do that. You can work your eyes and a little lips right here
once you're done with your eyes and your mouth you need to tie your ends at the back so that they don't open now you can go ahead and tie your flower right here and then you need to fill up this jellyfish head with cotton I'm going to fix the flower right here. Since we left the ends, it's really easy to just tie it up before stuffing your jellyfish. You just need to go ahead and tie this. And then you need to fill this up with your cotton. You need to stuff in as much cotton as you can and leave a little gap right next to this row to stitch up the bottom of the jellyfish. Now to attach the tentacles on the back side of the jellyfish we need to pull up the yarn like this and just tie them up like this now you can space out the tentacles as you want. I am attaching the straight ones at the end here and the curly ones in the center. I have finished attaching them. Now you need to attach the bottom of the jellyfish right here. You need to sew it up it's going to be a little messy because of all the tentacles that we finished attaching but you need to slowly get into each stitch like this and attach the entire row after you finish stitching up this row you need to work in all your ends and you will have your bobo the jellyfish you can use as many tentacles as you want i've used 10 here so that's all for now i hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching and happy crocheting